Event monitoring can enable live video panels to react to various types of events, such as motion detection from one or multiple sources. Event monitoring makes users more aware of key events in busy environments and ensures that important video is brought to the attention of anyone viewing live footage. In order to designate a video window for event monitoring, we must first need to create an event monitor profile. In this example, we'll program some cameras to switch to video when motion is detected. To create a new profile, click the New button beneath the profile list. Give the profile a name, and if desired, a description of that profile. You can now opt to automatically show a separate window listing events that have occurred by checking the box next to the Show Event Monitor list. Show the newest event will ensure that the most recent event is displayed, assuming that it doesn't have a lower priority than a simultaneously occurring event. You will also need to specify Video Panel or View. Selecting Video Panel will display a single camera on an event, and selecting View will display a pre-configured view on an event. You will need to include at least one event in your profile, but multiple events can be configured. To create an event to be monitored, click the New button beneath Client Actions. Select an event type to trigger an action, and then select the event source. By default, event sources from all systems are shown, but you can click the All Systems bar to choose a specific recorder. Once an event type and source has been selected, choose one of the four action types. Log will save a notification of the event on the client side in the monitor list. Play Sound will allow you to choose a sound to be played when the event type is triggered. The Switched Video Action Target allows you to automatically switch to a specific camera or camera view. The last option will be either Digital Preset or Switch View Tour depending on whether Video Panel or View was selected. Repeat this process for any additional events you'd like to include. When you're finished, click the Apply button to save the changes. If you've selected Show Event Monitor List, some additional options will be displayed at the bottom of the page for each individual event. Events occurring simultaneously, such as motion from multiple cameras, can be prioritized by changing the priority of each event, ensuring that your most important cameras and events are shown. Events with a priority of 1 will have the highest priority. The timeout determines how long in seconds the event is displayed in the event monitor list. Selecting the confirm checkbox will require the event to be acknowledged. Finally, you can choose to display a message when the event occurs, such as an action that a security guard might want to take when the event happens. You can now activate the event monitor in the live page. Click the Live button and then right-click any available video window. Scroll down to the Event Monitor and select the profile. That panel will now be dedicated for an Event Monitor profile. If using the Event Monitor list, events that have occurred can be searched in the top right-hand corner of the list window. Active events will be shown in the list and can be acknowledged by clicking the X next to the event or reviewed by clicking the circular arrow.